Good day everyone, this is Jason Santos and for today we are going to discuss general mathematics um, and this is the first topic under general mathematics which is uh, functions and relations. So here we start. Uh, this is the most essential learning competencies or yung milks na tinatawag natin and from here um, we, we will have this as our guide in the discussions throughout the entire duration of the, the course or the subject of general mathematics. So here in this video, I will be discussing the first part, which is to represent real-life situations using functions, including piecewise functions. Although what I would wanted to do as well is to remind everyone of functions and relations because I'm pretty sure that um, not most or well, some of the students, particularly if they not they are not in the ABM strand, uh, may not be too familiar with mathematical computations. Unless maybe if you are in STEM or ICT, uh, you might be probably refreshed of those concepts. But for the others, um, of course, different specializations. So let's focus on the said um, topics and the functions and relations. So here, this was based from the modules for quarter one from the Department of Education of our senior high school. So first, let's try to understand what is functions and relation. Now, let's define this. Functions and relations are one of the most important topics in algebra. So remember, before K to 12, um, in college, you know, algebra is being taken as a minor subject now in the first two years. First year, second year. But since uh, we have senior high school now, some of the minor subjects or LA courses have been moved down to senior high school, thus the creation of general mathematics, okay? And um, in general mathematics, no, in many situations, data is collected by conducting a survey or an experiment. Now, to visualize the data, it is arranged into a table. Most often, a function rule is needed to predict additional values of the independent table. So, sabi dito, let me put up my pointer. Um, most of the time, in order for you to better understand the data, you have to um, or better visualize it. It's much better if it's presented in a table. Now, I'm sure most of you, no, senior high school students, have uh, taken up statistics and uh, business math, so you are familiar with um, a data presentation. No? So yeah, no, it can be easily done through Excel, uh, Google Sheets, and other applications. So napakadali na lang yan gawin eh. And this is true, if it's presented in the table, mas madali mo siya makikita versus just purely numbers. Okay, so later on, maintindihan natin why um, we have this type of definition. So first, let me try to define function ano, so we can understand the difference between the two. And the better way for me to um, show you how function works is hit this. No? I have this diagram. No? Meron tayong two parts, which is the domain and range. So imagine there are, it could be any shape. No? I just placed circles here. Hindi naman to Venn diagram. Pero ayun. So the first section would be the domain. And then the other section would be the range. So left domain, right range. And then imagine inside the domain, you have um, several numbers. You have 1, 2, and 3. And then on range, and then you have, it could be numbers or any variables. So let's say, just for this example, we have x, y, and z. And what I did is, ilagyan ko siya ng arrow pointer, meaning there is a relationship between two data the data from the domain connecting it to the range. So, yung domain natin, sabi ko dito, 1 is equals to x, 2 is equals to y, and 3 is equals to z. Now, ano, it, the, again, it could interchange. Pwede ko rin sabihin na 
1 is equals to z, 2 is equals to y, and 3 is equals to x. However, for this example, ganun yung ginawa natin. And given this example, how are we going to write down the function? So here, sinulat natin siya. No? We have the bracket, uh, open parenthesis, 1 is to x, comma, 2 is equals to y, comma, and 3 is equal to z. Close, and then close bracket. Okay, so tama naman, ano? 1 is x, 2 is y, and 3 is z. And uh, in our definition below, in mathematics, a function can be defined as a rule that relates every element in one set. Tatandaan niya, nakabold yan, ano? A function, pa paano mo masasabing function, if um, it can be defined as a rule that relates every element in one set. So, every element, bawat element daw sa domain, can be related to range no, one set, meaning isa lang. So, called the domain to exactly one element, sorry, yan uh, One uh, element in another set called the range. So, yun daw nasa domain mo must have an a relationship with a variable in the range and it must be to exactly one element. Kagaya niyan, 1 is to x, 2 is to y, 3 is to z. Bawat isa, meron siyang katapat. So, I hope we understand function. Now, mas maintindihan natin siya when we see relation. So, here, let me show you relation. So, hindi ko muna nilagay in definition but, and I have used the same example. What I did is just I left 1 is equals to x and then we have number 3 is equals to z. Again, this is just an example. So, sinulat mo siya, 1 is to x, 3 is to z. Uh, it should be function first. Ano? Kasi, na, na fulfill naman natin yung requirement which is Dapat bawat isang element in domain must have a relationship with one um, variable in the range. However, what if I decided to add another connection, which is ito. 1 is equals to x and then naglagay ako ng another rule. Sinabi ko na, ah, hindi, ang 1 can also be y. So, dalawa na yung katumbas niya. It could be 1 is to x and 1 is equals to y. And then you have 3 is equals to z. It becomes a relation now. So first, sulat mo natin yung formula. Relation is equals to open bracket. 1 is to x, 3 is to z, and 1 is equals to y. So paano natin nasabi na siya ay relation? So let's read the definition below. A relation is any set of ordered paired numbers, or in other words, we can define a relation as a bunch. Bunch, madami, no? Pag sinabi mo, a bunch, no? Meaning more than one, a bunch of ordered pairs. Kung kanina sa function, hindi isa lang siya, sa relation, yung isang element in domain can be related to two or more. I repeat, uh, can be related to a bunch, two or more. So, kaganyan, 1x, 1y, 3 is equals to z. So, bakit naging relation na siya? Of course, hindi na kasi siya function. No? That's the, the simple explanation. Kasi, for example, I give you number 1. Um, hindi, I, you can say na, ah, hindi ko po alam, ano ibig sabihin ng 1? Is it x or is it y? No? Kaya, relation siya. Kasi, dalawa yung, ano niya, dalawa yung katumbas niya. Okay? So, I hope this is clear. No? This part is clear. That's why I've pre uh, I have discussed this in Tagalog na para mas maunawaan ng mga viewers natin. So, writing a function rule. So, again, balik tayo sa function. Sabi natin kanina sa definition, it's better to write it in tables. Uh, again, because visually, if you can see the table, like this one, kita mo kagad, no? na 1 is to 1. One variable is equivalent to another. So let's try to notice the trend of each variable. So here we have numbers of CDs and the cost. So 2 is equal to 24, 4 is 48, 6 is 72, 8, 96, and 10 is 120. 
So here in our given, you pay 24 pe pesos for 2 CDs, 48 for 4, 120 for 10 CDs, and which means that each cost is 12. So paano natin nasabi na 12 yung cost ng CD? Um, of course, no, on top of our head, kahit hindi, hindi mo naman ito kailangan lagyan ng matinding um, mathematical computation, right? Just by looking at it, I'm sure most of you already see that um, each CD costs 12 because 2 is 24. And you just divide 24 by 2, which will give you 12. Okay? So... Here, since it's presented in tabular form, we already know that this is a function because it's one-to-one. -one. And then we can write a function rule, which is cost is equals to 12 times the number of CD. So, kung dalawa yung CD, it becomes 24. Kaya the function is x, you know, function multiplied by x, thus you have 12. So, I hope na intindihan natin itong part na to. Now, next, how, what about this? You have this given, ano? And then, um, the challenge is for us to write a function uh, rule for this table. So, let's see. The solution is that the values of the dependent variables are always the corresponding positive outcomes of the input values. So, very simple lang ito, no? Since, what we have at the upper part or yung independent variable natin are negative, then sa dependent side natin, dependent variable, we have the positive. Okay? So, 0 is to 0, 2 is to 2, negative 3 is 3, negative 1 is 1, 1 is 1, 3 is 3, x is y, yan ano. But nevertheless, this is still um, considered as function. Bakit? Hindi naman na ulit eh. No? hindi na ulit yung nasa domain mo or your dependent side. Okay? Walang repetition. Pag sinabi kong 1, isa lang talaga yung katumbas niya 1. Pag sinabi kong 3, ang katumbas lang talaga niya ay 3. The function rule looks like this. No? Function multiplied by x. Or sorry, uh, negative. No? Sometimes can be negative. Kasi again, may mga negative dito. And the other side, of the table which is x. So I hope you understand this. Ano? So let's have this um quick activity in order for us to understand our first lesson which is function or end relation. So here meron akong sev uh, example, several examples and all we have to know is whether these set of numbers are functions and relations and then also on my second activity i have two uh, graphs so here on the side we have input sa other side output and then which of the following mapping diagram represents a function is it f is it g or is it h so i have two activities here if you want you can pause the video and answer it for yourself and then, once you're done answering, you can go back to this video, play it, and then see if you have the right answers. Okay, so I guess uh, if you're done, we can now go ahead and see what are the actual information here. Or actual answers. So on the first part, we can see that um, for letter A, it is a function. So why? Because yeah, no, domain, uh, the domain side negative 3, 2, 5, 3, 6. So clearly this is a function kasi hindi naman na ulit yung domain side mo or your independent side. Alright? How about letter B? So, you have 1 is to 4, 3 is to 5, 1 is to negative 5, 3 is to negative 5, and 1 is to 5. So, what is this? This is a relation, absolutely. Because 1 can be translated into 4, can be translated into negative 5, or can be translated to 5. 
same goes for 3. It could be 5 or it could be negative 5. So since marami siyang possible relationships, then it's going to be relation. For letter C, 5 is to 0, 0 is to 5, 8 is to negative 8, negative 8 is to 8, and 0 is to 0. It becomes a relation because we have already used 0 earlier. So 0 is 5. Now 0 is 0. So when I ask you, paano bang ibig sabihin ng 0? It could mean 5 or it could mean 0. Therefore, this is not going to be a function because the rule for function 1 is to 1. Back. Next, we have 12 is to 15, 11, 31, 18, 8, 15, 12, and 3, 12. So definitely, this is a function since we don't see any repetitions on the domain. Strictly 1 is to 1. And then what if 1.5 is to 8, 2.5b, 3 is to d, 1.5 is to 4, uh, uh, sorry, f, 4 is to h, 2.5 is to z, uh, o. So therefore, it becomes a relation because we have seen 1.5 used twice so it could be a or it could be f all right so let's go to our next um, activity which of the following mapping diagram represents a function so here the relations f and g are functions so sabi dito yung f at yung g ay function why because again your domain side or your input does not repeat so kagaya nito no for f um, 10 is 1 point, uh, sorry, 15, 20 is 45, 30 is 25, and 40 is 35. Hindi sila na ulit, ano? And same goes for letter G. A is X, B is Y, C is Y. So, you might be confused. E, paano po yun? Dalawa po yung nasa domain pointing into one from the range. It's okay. As long as itong domain ay hindi na uulit. No? So, yung B, pag sinabi kong B, isa lang talaga ang katumbas niya, which is Y. Pag sinabi kong C, isa pa rin ang katumbas niya, which is Y. Alright? And then D is Z. However, for letter H, when you say 2, it could mean 20 or it could mean 40. So, dun pa lang, nalaglag na, no? Alam na kagad natin that it pertains to relation. So, you know, there you have it. I hope you have understood, uh, understood this lesson. And this is just a summary of everything that we have covered. No? What is the meaning of relation? What is the meaning of function? And um, I hope um, you like this video. For more videos like this, you know, uh, just please support my channel. Uh, check out all of my uploads for uh, the senior high school um, playlists, senior high school modules. Uh, I also do a lot of lectures for other business subjects in the college side. So that's it. Thank you so much and God bless us everyone.